Hey guys, I'm a little late. Sorry about that. Just getting set up. So we're gonna do some um, melt and pour soap. Got my mold right there. Let me see, hopefully I can see your guys' comments. Okay, so I have clear right here. It's cooled down quite a bit. Okay. Hey, Monique. Do you do melt and pour too, girl? So I'm gonna mix these two. I have um, Three Wishes Tea with a little bit of Ralph Lauren Blue. And I'm just gonna do a capful of each in here. I kind of held them up together and they smelt good. Give this a good mix. And then I'm gonna see how it smells. Mmm, smells good. I think I need a tiny bit more of the Ralph Lauren. Do about half a cap full. So I wanna go for a beach look. So that's why I made sure this wasn't too hot. Um, I took a little inspiration from something I saw on Instagram. Someone made coasters that look like a beach setting. So I wanted to try to do it with soap. So I'm going to put these. And the great thing about um, melt and pour, if it gets too clumpy like this, I'll just throw it right back in the microwave and it'll be more fluid again. Which I might have to do. Whoop, there's a big chunk. I don't want that one in there. And as you can see, I'm really, I'm a super messy soap maker. <laughs> So heads up now. I'm going to use a whole bunch of different colors too that I'll show you guys. I'm going to, which one? I'm going to heat this one up real quick. So we got our fragrance in there. So we know it smells yummy. Hi, Cindy. Wendy, it's um, it's soap. It's melt and pour soap. So as you can see, it's really cold because it's got this like film. Whoops, hitting the camera. Sorry. But what I had envisioned, I needed it to be colder to see if I couldn't get these like lines for a, for the beach setting. Monique, I want to do a cold process one, but every time I do cold process, I always, it seizes up on me. So I have to work fast and I look crazy doing it. So it's like a bit nerve wracking. <laughs> okay, these are my colors. This is actually a new eco glitter. Um, which one is it? I want to call it Kraken. That's no, Grindel. We got Sea Glass. This one I mixed. Um, it's suntan bronzer, and I mixed it with Aztec Gold. 
a Java Peacock. And this one is Fairy Kisses, another eco glitter. And I'm just gonna mix a bit of alcohol in those because it helps break them down for the soap. If I just were to throw it straight in the soap now, they would be clumpy and I would be mixing forever. And this is a perfect time to use those little handheld um, mixers. But the only one I have close to me is one I've used for epoxy, so I don't want to do that. Uh, Monique, for cold process soap, that's what you want to give a recipe for? Because that's not a problem. Just give these a good little mix. If I can stop hitting the camera. Very pretty. There is the fairy kisses. I have some white soap. So, um, white base, three butter base, right here. And this is gonna be like the kind of crashing waves. Let me get another spatula. Mix that up. And my fairy kisses is gonna go straight in this so it has that shimmer. Yeah, Monique, I would love, I would love the recipe. So it was pretty basic before. Can you guys see all the shimmer from the fairy kisses? It's gorgeous in there. Okay, set that to the side, get my other soaps. So, sorry guys, I had this a little bit better planned out, but <laughs> then I got sidetracked. So sorry, like usual, if I'm a mess right now. I'm gonna put that Java Peacock in this one. And it was, I think it was about like half a teaspoon. But with the clear um, melt and pour soap, it doesn't take much mica. Hey Jen! You guys see that? It's gorgeous. Set that right there. This one. Let's see if I need to heat this one back up. Oh yeah, I gotta heat this one too. Sorry guys. I wanted them cold, but not this cold. So let's see. All right, we got the Grendel. The Eco Glitter. Mix that up, give that a good mix. And I'm gonna pour it in this one. Get that right there so you guys can see. All right, sorry about that. Just got a quick phone call. It's right around the time when 500 telemarketers want to call me and tell me that um, open healthcare is open. I don't know. God, 
Hopefully I'm not the only one that gets those calls. But you guys, this is gorgeous. And my camera is making it look like a little darker, but it's a really pretty light blue. Go grab this other one. Okay, so I think for my sand part, make sure you guys can see, I just want a little bit for the sand. Mix these up, make sure it's the color I want, otherwise I'll um, add some more. Um, Jen, it's just um, alcohol. Yes, I put lots of yummy smellies. And that looks like pretty beach sand. And if your soap's um, like hot enough, it'll instantly evaporate that alcohol. So the Aztec and um, suntan bronze are mixed. And that looks really pretty. Okay, one more. Sorry, you guys. Had this all planned out and never goes as planned. I just hope my vision comes out. I hate it when you have a vision and then you try to execute it and it's like, nope. Here's my little flat mold I'm gonna use. And I still have the sea glass left too. Okay, there's my other one. Hopefully this one's warm enough now. Should have mixed it a little bit more, but that's okay. There's a little bit. It's too pasty. So I'm going to add a little bit more alcohol to it. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Okay, my blues are gorgeous. I'm going to move this real quick, get these lined up just to show you the, the blues I chose. So those, I think those are a good co color combo. All right, I'm going to lay the sand first. Uh, yeah, Jen, they just, they do clump up. Um, you can mix and mix and mix, and then the clumps will come out, but it is a lot of mixing. Okay, we're going to hope for the best. <laughs> Hi, girl. How are you? Okay. So I'm going to do a thin little coat. Oh, I should have used a better pour. I want that to move a little bit. So, sorry if I'm not talking. I'm trying to concentrate. This is a horrible thing to put this in. Let me grab a cup and transfer it. Yeah, I'm transferring it so I can pour this better. Oh my God, look how amazing that is. That's so much easier.
So since I'm going to, this is what the top of the soap is going to look like. So this is what I want to focus the most on because when I flip it out, this is going to be the pretty side is what's down first. And on top, it won't really matter. I'm not showcasing the top of it. There we go. So my white is super cooling down. You can see it chunking back up. So we're gonna hope for this one. Uh, we got Ralph Lauren and 3T Wishes. All right. So that'll be my little crashing waves. Right through a little bit of everything. Get this one out of my way. So hopefully this looks good when it's all done. Now I'm gonna go through with the sea glass and I'm just gonna start layering it. Do thin little lines. This will be a little bit of a time consumer, but like I said, hopefully it just comes out the way I envisioned it. You guys are in luck. I won't say poof on this video or tapa tapa, except for that time right there. <laughs> so we got that one. Yes, I think the chunks will be good too. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of a, just break that. It's the Java Peacock. And again, sorry you guys, I'm totally concentrating. So I can't see comments. And we have, oh, I don't need to break that one. The Eco Glitter again. <laughs> I'm glad you like the Tappa Tappa. I know, I'm gonna do another poof one with um, the Eco Glitters actually. So hopefully I'll get on that in the next couple days. But today I really needed to, um, Get on making soap because I need to make Christmas presents for people. Is it just me or did Christmas come so fast? Is it just like we've been all working our little booties off so it snuck up on us? So I'm like a week from today, you guys, Christmas. I really need to get my booty into gear and start handing out Christmas presents to my friends. There's our waves. I am gonna heat up my white. It's pretty cold. And if this doesn't work out the way I want, then I'm just gonna make the backside look really pretty. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna go back to the sand and add a little bit more sand.
<laughs> Amazon gift cards are great. I know. I just am a little bit of a hillbilly. I like handmade gifts, but since you craft for a side job, you don't really want to, you know, you just do so much anyways. You've got cups everywhere, so I get it, girl. I think I'm just gonna let this drip a little bit of everywhere. <laughs> because I had envisions, you guys, too, that I was gonna get this done um, a couple months ago. And then everyone that ordered in December, I was gonna send them like a little mini bar of soap. But thank you all for keeping me so, so busy. So I didn't get to do that. But next year, I have great plans for that. So count on it. Next, next December, I'll be better. You guys will get like little mini soaps with your orders. I'm just going to splash this in each one. Let me look at comments. Yeah, it went by so fast. I'm going to take my popsicle stick and I'm going to try to do maybe it's hardening up pretty fast. Just little holes so I can get some more blue through and it'll give it more character too. The fun thing about, you guys know, with cups, soap, whatever, you make it your own. If it does not go the way you planned, get over it because someone's going to love it and it's very unique. You guys like that? I just tell you to get over it. Get over it. Because <laughs> I'm in so many craft groups and people are like, I hate what I just did. And I'm like, well, how do I get a hold of what you hate? Because I love it. What do you guys think? A little beachy yet? Or just a hot mess? <laughs> Jen, I promise it's not complicated. Just make my little oh, <laughs> indents. Break my popsicle stick. I just want this to have so much depth. Okay, which one? Oh, let's go back to the eco glitter. Oh, there's a little bold spot right there. Okay. Hi, Sarah. All right. So I'm going to go through one more time. And if I think I want a color popping up anywhere, I'm going to do it now before I dump the rest of the soap on there. So I'm going to hit it with some white and blue one more time. Hello, monkey man. My son just walked out here. So this is going to be my messy splash. Try not to hit the camera. Hit 
at it with the sea glass. If you guys um, ever decide to want to get into mountain pour, let me know. I'm definitely not a professional, but I, I've been doing it for ooh, 15 plus years. So I can guide you in the right direction. Um, alcohol and soap making is your best friend. You, oh, okay. You can see it on camera. So there's air bubbles. Get alcohol, spray them, gone. It'll give it a little bit more depth too. So pretty much this is what I'm hoping will look awesome. <laughs> Brilliant, thanks. Yeah, forever. And the girl that just commented above you, she's been making soap forever too, Miss Sarah. All right, so the mess part. Since we don't care what this looks like, I'm just gonna dump the rest in. And you can make little swirlies, cause like I said, just in case my bottom is a fail, if this looks really cool, then that'll be the new top side of the soap. Break a little hole in this. I hope this white's coming through you guys with that, uh, with the eco glitter in it. Um, the fairy kisses, it's gorgeous. Can you guys see that shine? Just keep layering it. And what I do, because there's still soap in there, I don't want it to go to waste. I just heat these up real quick and then pour the leftovers. They'll be nice and hot. So I'm just scraping it off the sides and I'll throw it in the microwave real quick. Okay, I'm gonna throw these in. Are you scared? See it. <laughs> Sydney, it'll take, <clears throat> it depends on how warm or cold your room is. In my room, I just turned it down to 60. Um, since I already poured these pretty cold, it's setting up fast. So I think this one will probably be about four or five hours. If it's in the middle of the summer and I'm doing it, it will... It'll be about five hours before I can move it to the freezer. <laughs> and then I let the freezer do the rest. <laughs> That's Mr. Indy. Oh, 
I don't know if I want to do any more white. So I'm going to do this one. You can see it's smoking hot now. Knocking stuff over everywhere. <laughs> okay, I got this one. Again, sorry you guys, I'm so back and forth. goodies in there. Kind of get it moving around so it's flat on the bottom. I'm gonna spritz it with alcohol and it's gonna start moving too. And you guys, that is melt and pour soap. I love playing with melt and pour. So yeah, I'm going to let that set up. Hopefully tonight, maybe I'll turn the heater off in the shop for a couple hours. And so hopefully tonight I'll be able to unmold it and show you guys pictures. Grab a mold real quick. I have like 50,000 silicone molds and the one I want, I can't find. But with my white, I'm just gonna pour it in here. Then I'll use it as embeds for um, another loaf of soap. And it'll be awesome. Do you guys have any questions? Pour this and look up at the comments. Yes. You can use the embeds for CP soap. Um, I would show you, but all my soap is um, underneath jars right now. <laughs> but yeah, I can use this for cold process. And you just stick them right in at the end. It's really pretty. I made um, crystal soaps last year and it looked awesome. But yeah, you guys, sorry, again, hot mess tutorial, but I hope you like it. I'll try to do, I wanna do a poo video. Oh, here's the cup, you guys. I got soap on my hands, but. Here's the poofa poofa. Oh, I told you I wasn't gonna say it, darn it. I get so excited. Came out really cool, I love it. Oh my goodness. And Nell's in here. I gotta show you guys something else. 
And then I made this. This is my happy cup. I love it so much. It makes me happy. I totally stared at it all day and just smiled. Nope, not gonna stop, girl. This is talent and I'm in love. I love all my cups I get from you guys. Just pure talent and I freaking love it. What else? I'll show you guys if I can get this one off. Probably not. <laughs> so, this one is funny. I used glitter. I was trying to do a reverse um, peekaboo. I started sanding it, and then you see how somewhere I got sidetracked. So, as soon as I'm done sanding it, it will be um, nothing but the neon fluorescent colors underneath it. And so, this is my reverse. Isn't it so ugly? <laughs> but I'm hoping to turn it into a beauty. See? Someone will like it. Right now it's a mess. Oh, here's the bottom of it. So it'll be colors like that. No. <laughs> you got candy. No. You gotta love those late night bribes with the kids. So... If I do this, can I have candy instead of dinner? No, sorry, you gotta eat dinner. <sighs> yeah, no, I'm not worried about the cup. If you guys saw the shelves behind me and how many cups I don't have finished, but I will finish them. It'll be good gifts. Yeah, right after too. That's their like reward. They're like, what's for, what's for dessert if we eat dinner? And it's like, uh, I just want to say nothing. <laughs> How about you just eat your food? But they're spoiled little rats, so they get everything. All right, guys, I hope you have an awesome night. As soon as this is cured, I will, um, I'll post pictures and I hope um, it comes out how I envisioned in my head and I'll, um, I'll also, uh, also screenshot the photo I saw off Instagram with coasters that I envisioned in my head. And so hopefully they're a lot of like, <laughs> they won't be, but it'll be a good laugh. All right, guys, have an awesome night. Bye.